This episode of We Like Shooting Double Tap is brought to you by Second Call Defense, Black Rhino Concealment, Manicore Arms, Polymer 80, and the Sonoran Desert Institute. Welcome to We Like Shooting Double Tap, episode 152, where we answer your questions, ask a few of our own, and touch base on gun industry news. Our panel tonight is the owner of River's Edge Tactical. His name is Jeremy Paz, Derek. We've also got with us the Machine Gun Moses, his older brother, Aaron Krieger. In the studio, we've got Nick Lynch. My name is Sean Heron, and I want to welcome you all to the show. All right, all right. So let's see. People complaining. Do you ever pay attention to the Facebook comments? Yes, we do. No. Uh, am I the only person without sound? Honestly, the show's probably better without sound. Wait, actually, no, that can't be true. Yes, he's the only person without sound. Yes, you're the only person. I mean, I can hear myself. I can hear you. Yeah. I, I can hear both of you. Yeah, Aaron yeah. can hear us. I hear Aaron. Uh, if you can I, hear us, raise your hand. All right. Yeah, we're all raising our hands. So. Yeah, okay. exactly. Hey, Sean. What? Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh, you're pointing at me? I'm going to point at you. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to point at Jeremy. Yeah, boom, right there. <laughs> So why is he? All, oh, because he's the last one to join. That's it's why a fun he's game. On the bottom. It's a fun. He's got the easy one. He just goes like this, and he's got us. Yeah, it's a fun game for a podcast. Jeremy's on bottom always, uh, since it's all audio <laughs> only. Uh, Aaron, how are you, man? I'm good. The beard's getting a lot of comments, bro. Mm, yeah, uh, dude looks like a scro old wait, a cold sc- in a hat. We were, I mentioned that actually already. So uh, you did. Yeah, I can't bring back the beard. I am sorry. It's gone forever. So that's like a, a policy? Yeah. Uh, clean shape. So I might grow a mustache, though. Oh, dude, you got to. And yeah, it, you it, can you grow it? <laughs> can you grow it all the way down uh, to cover your chin? <laughs> Struck home over mustache. <laughs> Excuse me, chins. <laughs> I don't you, know. Know when you, you know when you look at a burn victim? Uh, yeah. Like, ah. It's like Deadpool. Yeah, every time Ooh. I look at Aaron's face. <laughs> you should get one of those plastic masks that they wear. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. It's got like makeup on it, and then you just look like, oh yeah, those. Are oh, great. I haven't seen those. I I was talking about like the clear plastic ones. Yeah, and so healing. they've got like blush and uh, like oh, really? on some of them. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. That's Nick. horrifying. Yeah. Oh god, that's worse. Aaron, we all think you're very handsome. I'm sorry. Mm, my mom says I'm handsome. <laughs> she lied. MG Moses looks like MG <laughs> John Wayne Gacy now. <laughs> he used to, but he still does too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's wonderful. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Aaron, how are you? Uh, clean. Uh, I need to shave. Come get a little stubble. <laughs> oh man, how much stubble are you allowed? I think we're supposed to be clean shaven every day, so I have to shave after the show and then go to bed, then wake up in like an hour and go to work. Oh, that's wonderful. That sounds Dude, great. Volume is huge. like it is crazy how much people how much people are shipping right now. It's crazy. Yeah i I get packages every single day, pretty much. Yeah, and like. And we were just talking about this before the show. The USPS has lost a ton of my packages already. Oh, man. We, oh, that's amazing. We have missing packages all over the place. Yeah. Patches it's, and stuff. Like uh, Texas seems to be a black hole for packages right now. Dude, Fort Worth, is that where you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got uh, two lost in Fort Worth right now. Somebody yeah. in Fort Worth was like, eh. And they just maybe put like half, my, half uh, the conveyor belt in the wrong truck. Maybe that's where my... Uh, folding adapters i would not doubt it dude so here's what it was it, it said uh so made it to the post office on the 8th and it was supposed to be here on the 12th and it's apparently it left fort worth texas on the 8th and it's still in transit so <laughs> it's still, it's the longest bus ride ever for this my, my stuff we have one that's the exact same way sorry uh about that it, i think it was the 8th or the 9th and now it's stuck uh, on the way to the next location or whatever yeah it's it's so ridiculous <laughs> LOL, MG Moses is paid to handle packages. <laughs> <laughs> he needs. Oh, you know what's awesome is that the sun is shining on Nick's face and it's throwing off the balance of of the camera now. Yeah, I noticed that. We're all That's dark. so cool. You guys, you have sun, it's sun shining there and it's like dark. Make these here. things called curtains? Well, well, we've got blinds up. I don't. They're clearly not working. They're, they're kind of all in disarray. They're more of a curtain than a blind because if it was a blind, then it would yeah. stop the. Well, it's not really a blind. It's just I can't see real good. It's like uh, so when when uh, uh, um, a rug comes down the, uh, the the thing for people to pack in the trucks. Yeah, they call them carpets. And I'm like, no, man, it's a, it's a rug. It's not a carpet. 
A carpet covers the entire room. A rug just covers a portion of the room. Oh, that's very is that, interesting. Is that the difference? I believe so. It's like a difference between a pistol and a and a and a handgun. Yeah, and I was I was literally going to say, doesn't tattooed Nick work in Fort Worth? Like he needs to find this. Yeah. Uh, what's Col- up there, buddy? Cult member tattooed tattoo Nick. Yeah, like, bro. Where's my out? stuff? I'll, I'll give you the tracking number. Just uh, DM me, and I'll hit you with the tracking number, and you find that for me. He's trying to trick you into sliding into his DMs. Anyway. Uh, let's do an ad read. First up, we're going to talk about Black Rhino Concealment. Nick, tell me what your favorite thing that you have right now from Black Rhino is. My favorite thing that I have is, uh, what 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 is it called, Sean? You know the one, the Colt Holster. Uh, it's the uh, FCS Scabbard. Yes, that one, the FCS Scabbard. Yeah. Uh, I have a hard time with the acronyms. I don't know why. Uh, fast Carry System, I believe, is that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Um, I, yeah, I really like it. I've got it set up like I talked about previously on the uh, UBL and the QLS and and the nuts, um, <laughs> and it's it's great. Uh, all of that stuff stuff is available from them. You can get that that exact setup, and it is super badass. Yeah, I 100 percent agree. Uh, mine will actually be here tomorrow. Oh, uh, nice. Kidding. Man. It's probably stuck in Fort Worth. Wait, did don't give any details. Did he send you a picture of the holster he made for me? No, that's in the box. Okay, cool. You're not allowed to post anything about it okay. until I get it. I won't for sure because it's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't wait. Uh, I will leave that to you, but go check them out. Black Rhino Concealment <laughs> and the coupon code is WLS MOFO and that will save you 10% all day, every day. Let's get into it, right? <laughs> I'm looking at Roden's gun and it's kind of a dig at you, Sean. Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> This is a segment called Would You Rather, where Aaron poses us a question, we answer, Jeremy doesn't, and uh, then we move on to the next segment. Aaron, what do you, what do you have for us tonight? Pistol caliber carbine or a submachine gun? Uh, What's the difference? I mean, okay, okay so basically... A full auto switch? Well, no, okay, so... Do you want a semi-auto gun or a full auto gun? That's the question you just asked. My question is... Basically, no, it's not. Your question is, do you want the same gun as the other one? Except with a fun switch. That's what you asked. Okay, so what I'm saying is, before, Bert, let me finish. I'll let you talk, but let me finish first. Yeah, I'm going to let you finish, but Jeremy had the best diss of 2020. No, uh, <laughs> go ahead. So when I, when I say pistol, pistol caliber <laughs> carbine, what I mean is an AR platform, platform carbine. Okay. Uh, it's fully auto as well, or something like an MP5, you know, uh, or those kind of. So one one's a one's a sub gun that's specifically made for a sub gun. The other one is a uh, a rifle made into a sub gun. I would probably rather have a sub gun. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of sick of full auto right now, and I know Shut this, up. dude. It sounds ridiculous, but the problem is is ammunition. Like, dude, you just go through too it's much. Expensive. Yeah, I went to the range just to do a show and tell, and we usually do like 200 rounds for those. It was like 400 rounds. I just couldn't stop. So yeah, I don't I don't even like full auto anymore. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I don't want it. I think I would want. probably pick a sub sub gun just because I have a lot of AR pistol caliber carbines and not any. So basically the question is nine mil AR or any other nine mil sub gun. <laughs> That's what I said. But a nine uh, I would choose the Colt nine millimeter SMG. Um which is like the original nine mil AR because it's a sub submachine gun. That's an AR. All right, Jeremy, what would you pick? Um, I want the machine gun. So anything that's full auto you pick. Cause like Aaron's question's dumb. So I just want, <laughs> I want the, I want that one gun. Not, I changed not it. that one. The other one. I changed it. Now it says uh AR pistol caliber carbine versus submachine gun, such as an MP5, et cetera. So one's still full auto. And the other one is not. MP5, what, K? Is that the su- semi-auto? That, no, MP5 SP5 SP5 is the S- civilian legal one. All right. Take away full auto. It's not even on the table here. Would you rather have a semi-auto AR pistol caliber carbine or a semi-auto sub machine gun style as the SP5 or things of that ilk? Or or what? Or the UMP or the Chris Vector or the exactly. or yeah, the exactly. Scorpion uh, or the you, BMT yeah. or the I mean F- what? Well, f- which one? 
Yes. Which one? Any of them. Yes. Any of them. I want yeah. all. I, 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 I want one cetera. of them. You have to pick one. That well, would have you have that both, one, so or would you have a, I, 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 okay. I don't care. <laughs> I have both. <laughs> off. How's that sound? Wow. <laughs> Humble brag. Pores. <laughs> Quit asking questions about the pores. <laughs> Jeez. Man. Actually, wait. I take it back. I would choose a submachine gun, and I would go uh, with an AKM. Ooh. All right. Aaron, what would you pick? I give up. <laughs> Aaron, what would you pick? No, I, I gave up. Do no. you, Aaron, I give up. Aaron, pick one. I can't. Why? The, the comments are, are, are too painful. Why? They're just all talking about me. Oh. Uh, I'm okay with it. Actually... Uh, Oh, never mind. No, go ahead, Aaron. Jesus. I'd go with the uh, the AR style PCC. How come? Uh, I just, uh, I, I, the control groups and everything are more, more familiar to me, and uh, everything is uh, set up for me, and, and I can, uh, I like it. <laughs> Fire to the forge. Aaron gave up his own game. Y'all killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kill the pig. Drink it. Roden says, I love you, Aaron. Mm, I don't think so. We all love Aaron. What's that show? Is that Everybody Hates Raymond? Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, ours is called Everybody Hates Aaron. Mm. I think. You know, how can you hate someone, though, who has Pow! an awesome cult ring? That is true. That is a pretty cool cult ring. I will also mm. say uh, that I would defend you and be like, ah, I really like Aaron, except for the fact that you f-ing drove me to insanity right before the show started. So. I was very specific in my questioning, and I apologize. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, brother. All right, uh, real quick, second call defense. Nick, tell me what you think that it is that second call defense does. What I think it is. See, there's a key word there that I have a problem with. It's think. Okay. I'm listening. How does think work? Uh, In your estimation, what service is it that second call defense provides to the public? I have a really bad headache. Can you slow down? Oh, boy. Uh, So second call defense is an excellent service. Uh, Should you, say, have a negligent discharge or have to use your firearm in a self-defense scenario, uh, you have a little card. You pull it out of your wallet. You call that number. It's the second call you make after you call the uh, proper authorities. And they have a little uh, script that you read when you call the uh, 911 or whatever service you have uh, yeah. that you need to call. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you hang up, you call second call defense and they send you legal help. Yeah. Like bail you out, make sure you have attorneys pay for your criminal defense. Make sure you don't say anything dumb. Civil defense. Make sure you don't say anything done. Crime scene, clean up weapon replacement. If they can't get it back from the authorities, all kinds of stuff, anywhere 10 to 40 bucks a month. So if you have a gun, keep a gun for home, carry a gun every day. Like I'm doing right now. Uh, second call defense is what you should do. You know I keep that thing on me. And you can find more and get a free month and a free shirt by going to welikeshooting.com slash SCD. Aaron, I'm okay with what you're doing, but could you do without the sound effects? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this thing. Like, what kid would want to play with a car like this? Yours? Uh, no, that's why it's on my desk. I think they're just like, Dad, get rid of this. Yeah, they're like, I mean, we look, hate this. First of all, you get into an accident, you're dead. You're like, look at that. You're right in front. It's, How many mufflers okay. does that have? How many what mufflers does that thing? Oh, have? it only has it only has a twin tailpipe. Uh, but this is this is the engine. Is that an Look organ? That. They're just Look like playing Phantom the, Phantom of the Opera. Da, 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 da. So I took a car and then they 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 magically stretched it. So I'm holding a Matchbox car for those listening. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know what? Da, 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 da. I think that, every time that car turns on, all you hear is. All right, I'm in. <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, someone in chat, Sarsifix, said, Sean, please stop at the sound effects. Aaron, louder sound effects. <laughs> uh, that Hot Wheels was in a fender bender with Aaron's prostate. <laughs> Ouch. That's terrible. It did have a lot of sharp, pointy things on top. It would I would not want one. that anywhere inside my body. No, absolutely not. Burn when you pee? Unsure about your relationship? Why can't you use 45 in a 9mm? Get your questions answered on hashtag TierWLS. Visit WeLikeShooting.com slash TierWLS to submit your questions. 
All right, you can submit your questions at we like shooting dot com slash dear WLS. And uh, Aaron, I feel like you've uh, gotten on a little bit, so I'm going to put you first. Okay, so uh, this one, this question isn't written down, but oh, I have to. I want to ask it. I, I have to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Someone was talking shit about me taking notes, and I'm like, I take pages of notes every single episode. Well, that yeah, was there, that was just where I spilled whiskey on it, but. There's notes. I've got. I remember when I was taking notes with a pen and paper, and you gave me shit about it, and I think that's what they're pointing out. Actually, I wish you would take notes now. Well, I'm not because you talked me out of it. You're like, oh, you're writing stuff down, and I, then you 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 poo pooed on me. So I, I was like, okay, okay. Well, that was just me being mean. I'm sorry. Please take notes. It's too late. Write down a note right now. Sean okay. said to please take notes. All I have is this, this stabby pen. Uh, oh, wait, is there a pen in there? Yeah, I think oh, so. there is. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Sean. Yeah. Says. Yeah. Let me let me see what you're writing real quick. I don't believe you. Take notes. All right here we go. Right there. Uh, it says. Uh, Sean says to take notes. Oh wow. Seds. <laughs> yeah. Well, you no, know what, Sean it, Sids. It, I, I put an S on it. She said to take what Max. I got three names. Congratulations. <laughs> Two wins in a row in Fortnite, so he's good job, he's man. Great. That that I is. Got, I, I'm in a show, show uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, Kate. First question, Jeremy. Right. Uh, Jeremy, so, so, Jeremy, listen so, to this one. Okay, so this actually, uh, did anyone notice? This is a different question than the was written down. Did anyone notice that the NSSF sold Patriot Patch Company's logo? Yeah, that was a shot. Show. Who? What? Yeah, that was. That was ridiculous. I didn't, I didn't go to Shot Show, so I just I just I just saw it. Where'd you see it? Uh, in our Instagram messages. Oh, someone really? Had, someone had commented on it. Oh, geez, from back then. I just noticed, dude. I don't spend a lot of time on my phone these days. Yeah, no, that's that's totally funny, actually. Okay, uh, first question. First question is from Sportsman. I'm big into squirrel hunting. Well, obviously, with a name like Sportsman, I would expect something a little bit larger than squirrel, but. <laughs> and I like to run a, uh, an SX, S by X, oh, excuse me, side by side 12 gauge with full auto modified chokes to pop these critters into varying distances. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> I'm currently running a Stoger Uplander that is being re, uh, repaired for the third time by Bernelli. Bernelli? I know St- what? Ber- Bernelli. Ber- excuse Bernelli. me, not Bernelli. Bernelli. I know Stogers suck. I'm not surprised that they suck. They're cheap. Cheap things tend to suck. What I need from you boys are recommendations for two trigger, for two trigger break action side by side shotguns to replace the preferred one thousand or under in price. And don't say I should get I should get a used uh, cit- Citrio. Is that right? Citrio. They're over one thousand. They're single trigger and they're over under. Thanks, they're boys. Over one thousand. Hey, Nick, what's the what's the one that you just ordered? Uh, Stoger Uplander. <laughs> However. Mine was very cheap. Uh, I hate Stoger's. Stoger yeah. over unders. Um, side wants, by side. He wants a side by side. I'm just saying. Um, I've been working on a Stoger over under for like mm-hmm. four weeks, and I can, I know what's wrong with it, but I don't know how to make it work correctly. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so, Jeremy, what what kind of side by side would you pick? That's not crazy expensive. Uh, it's easy. I don't see. I don't think CZ has anything with a dual trigger. I think right now, um, unless it's like a coach gun. I mean, that would be. Fine. Yeah, I think all their side by sides come with two triggers. I don't know that they do, though. And I, as I recall, they were cutting down their uh, side by side offerings quite a bit. So I think Sar- they only have like Sar- one or two. X says they do. Uh, they do have two triggers. They, that's what he says. They do. Yeah, Sorry. BT special vehicle team, classic hammer, classic coach, uh, sharp tail, CZ sharp tail. Uh, that's only on one trigger, but yeah, the uh, the old school ones have two triggers. Are those external hammers and stuff? Uh, let's see, what is this? CZ Bob White G two. Oh, yeah, they have the Bob White, and that's a dual trigger. I'm curious what's wrong with that's a hammerless dual two trigger uh, setup. They're all okay. wrong with it. So I was so I was incorrect. They do have the uh, they do have that one. They're all right around a thousand dollars. Are they? Are there MSRP any? MSRP is six fifty five. Yeah, seven oh two. 
Oh, there um, you go. CZ Bob White. So, uh, yeah, there's those, the Baikal stuff. Baikal? Baikal. Baikal. Um, that stuff's not too bad. I think that's been imported under the Remington name. I have a Baikal. Um, yeah. Those, I have a, those I have a Baikal bad. coach gun. A uh, buddy of mine. I think you've actually shot it. That was a great, uh, great little gun. Um, uh, what, what else? Uh, I don't know. Sean, what are you doing? with your Why camera? is your camera having a seizure? I don't know. Because you're going to give every uh, people who are watching the show seizures. Uh, so now, 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 we have to, now we have to have you know a f- flash warning. So so people who have epilepsy look at my eyes while watching. <laughs> it, it, it started working right. There's, said there's a glitch in the matrix. Uh, but but yeah, are there are a couple of good options. Like Jeremy said, the CZs excellent. What about the Stoger? He said he hates the Stoger. Oh, I wasn't listening. Wait, really? I because like you were like, hey, Nick, what's the one you just got? I don't. I don't like any. You, I don't like over unders with a single trigger with a uh, inertia reset. What about Barrett? You're just trying to. Person. You're just trying to make me sad, aren't you, Sean? No. Yeah, you the, are. the Barrett shotguns, dude. Those were like five grand. Oh yeah. So get uh, one of them and uh, buy one, but buy it over the course of five years. Then you won't pay a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars a year on it. You could get an old Merkel. Uh, Is that what like, I think? Take care that goes on your crotch. Wait, I, I think uh, I saw some on like Cabela's or something a while back. Um, but Merkels are really oh really these expensive. were like Merkels from like the seventies. Oh, okay. They were super beat up, and they were like four hundred bucks. And I was kind of mm-hmm. tempted to get one. Um, but that would be that'd be like buying a Rolls Royce from the seventies that was really beat up. You know, um, probably not the probably not the best option. I do have an inline channel sti- channel strip compressor combo right here. Actually, it's the Composer Pro XL. Um, so here's what's happening with the camera. We are using a DSLR for the first time ever, uh, T six I. Because normally we use the what do you call them? Uh, the webcam. The webcam that's on the TV right there, and you can see that in the background, and you can see that the other video is a lot better, but. This is the first time, so maybe there's a couple bugs. I don't know. Do you guys have any other shotgun suggestions? Um, use a better mm-hmm. gun, like something that's actually sporting when you're trying to shoot a, a squirrel. I just, I, I mean, those are sporting yeah, guns. Yeah, I'm like, there was a squirrel, and now there no longer is. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a f- if hunting is sporting. I just want food but in my freezer. What's more yeah, well, sporting well, than you get, a side-by-side? You, side side. you pull the thing to 16 different pieces. That is yeah, good. there is that. <laughs> Nick also had a good point. He said, "What's more sporting than a side by side?" I mean, that's yeah. pretty sporting. You, you get your your side by side, your tweed jacket, your tall boots. You go wander around with some hounds and a handler who handles the hounds for you, so you don't have to get your hands dirty. Keep your hands mm. on the gun, you know. Release the hounds, right? So this dog, it, it won't hunt. I mean, if I'm squirrel hunting, I usually go with a twenty-two, but that's just me. Squirrel hunting. 22, pop him in the head. Nick, what day is it? Natter day, brah. Yeah, yeah. What do you got, Natty, Natty Life? Natty, Natty Light? Natty Light Natter Days. Strawberry oh, lemonade. God. They're so bad. Oh. Awful. Yeah. It's all we've but, got at the studio. Because alcoholics need to drink something. We're poor. We're poor alcoholics. <laughs> so you dress like Paul Harrell. Yes. Uh, Nick was wearing jeans today. It kind of threw me off a little bit. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. You have jeans? Yeah. That's awesome. I had no idea. I saw um, one of uh, Paul. I haven't watched the video, but Paul Harrell posted a video on YouTube recently, and the thumbnail is him holding a GI Joe that looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never wanted something more in my entire life, dude. My mom dude, dude. was talking oh, to my sorry. mom on the phone the other day, and she was like, "Yeah, I found a uh, a bin with all your old like GI Joe guns and stuff in it, and now I really want one." Like a GI Joe that's me, so that I can give them all like the cool guns and you know they literally have them. FYI, oh man, you can uh, so. <laughs> do, do, okay, I, I don't think oh, we're you in, guys keep talking. I, I have to show you this doll I have. Okay, okay. But, I don't think we're in any danger. But uh, real dirty Harry on Instagram mm-hmm. said something the other day to Roy from Brownells, and he was like, "Roy, we need an action figure of you." So I'm, I've hit up a few people. I want all of us to pitch in and make a Roy nice. action figure. I would be down with that. Yeah. I doubt that Roy listens to the show, so I think we're safe. It's got to be like Rambo with the headband and like no shirt and everything but Roy's head. Yeah. 
you so basically you pick the body that you want and then they will 3D scan the head from several different images and I've got hundreds of pictures of Roy. Where can Sle- I get this? Sleeping, awake, whatever. Okay, where, so where when I was I in this? college, yeah, I'll tell my you. My mom, my mom used to sew a lot and she she made this uh she made this doll of me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Well, it, uh yeah, it's pretty old obviously cuz like but I, I could never throw it away. It's just like it, it's been shredded over the years, so it doesn't have legs anymore. Don't make a f-ing joke about that, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It, even it's got boxers on, like because I always wear boxers, and uh, yeah. it does, and look, it's got diabetes too because it doesn't have yeah, legs. There's, yeah, see, there's a joke. Does it have a? Um, no, because diabetes. I was just gonna say, God, it's realistic. <laughs> it used to have glasses too, but the glasses got lost. Dude, That's okay, awesome. That is actually very freaking cool. Uh, the crazy thing is, is that it's all disheveled and it's literally very, very lifelike at 45, 46 now. Sorry. 45 still June. 46. Oh yeah. June. Yeah. Dude. Oh, wow. That's amazing. These are not as expensive as I expected. No, they're like 150 oh, bucks and you can get the head only. Yeah. So I could just go buy a GI Joe, yes. yank the head off and put my head on it. Yes. My face on a figure.com. Aaron, that doll's actually really awesome. Your mom did a really good job on that. Yeah. She used to, uh, so in sell these dolls all over the place not of me though just she just made one of me that's really cool i mean dude it surprisingly looks like you yeah she should make one of jeremy <laughs> just take all the all the material <laughs> a life-size one j rash says hey guys what are y'all's thoughts on the psa dagger it, is it pretty cool for us pours or do you think it will be trash i also want to know what everyone's load out for the upcoming swarm of murder hornets what's the psa dagger does anyone know what that is? Full no. Metal State Armory Dagger. Yeah. Oh, that's their pistol that they're doing. It's funny that they call it a dagger, but it's a pistol. It really throws me off. All right. So they were watching a lot of uh, Romeo and Juliet, the uh, Baz Luhrmann the one, one. The one with Clara Danes. With the guns. Yeah. So this this dagger, I'll throw it up on the screen here for those that are watching, but you can Google it if you're <laughs> listening to the podcast, PSA Dagger. Uh, it looks like it's going to be like sub three or $300, right around $300. You mean the Glock that they make? Yeah, <laughs> it's Glockish. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's not Glockish. I it's mean, Glock. yeah, it is. <laughs> well, the, the frame looks different. But the well, crazy thing is. They have a high cut on the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the magazine slide. That's about the biggest difference. <laughs> yeah. The magazine it's slide. All, it, it just looks like they forgot a finger groove. That's mm-hmm. it. There's no. Like they put some different like knurling on it, but like other than that, like it's I mean, Glock. it uses all Glock Gen three parts, is my guess. Uh, the well, slide those sites look like big old Legos they put in there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm a huge fan of those sites, but that was just the suppressor. So yeah, two ninety nine ninety nine. Damn. I mean, dude. Uh, actually, go ahead. No, go ahead, Aaron. So I would buy it and then just strip it of all the parts and put it into a gun I want. I don't know, man. I I would totally have this. So the things I, I don't like about it, just from the pictures, um, are is the grip. Look at the, they've got like a finger groove put in there. Mm-hmm. I would want to file that down. Yeah, I mean, I would I test it out, like see how it goes. I, I actually really like that the the I, single groove like that. Kind of do too because when you when you grab it, it, it sort of guides your middle finger into that like position, and it it helps with a really consistent grip, which is nice. I actually I, so. I had forgotten about this, and now I'm interested in it again. Uh, let me just double check here. I don't think it's available yet. Firearms, receivers, rifles, handguns. I know PSA has been a little. Who was it that told us? It was uh, Matt LaRossier from Firearms Policy Coalition that talked about their plan for PSA was to sell guns for as little as possible, as many as possible. So that they would be more widely, widely used, and I thought that was pretty cool. You could just search for a uh, dagger. Yeah, if I could spell. I mean, for for that low a cost, oh, the PC. I would try uh, it. Are those uh, are those in stock? No, no. But yeah, I would, dude. For three hundred bucks, like yeah, I just bought a SKS for three hundred bucks. I'd much rather have this pistol, honestly. Still don't have that SKS, by the way. Bet, well, the SKS is good. They're going to start coming real cheap because they can't sell them in Canada anymore. 
That's actually not a bad point. They might be a little bit cheaper. Uh, so yeah, the dagger looks pretty cool. Okay, did you see what it said right above it? No, what did it say? Glock killer. <laughs> yeah. Oh gee. I'll be I'll be excited oh, about that. Oh geez. Oh god. Screen's still on. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's your loadout for murder hornets? Obviously a four ten judge. Ooh. I mean, th- is there any other answer for murder hornets? I was gonna say uh, sawed off. 410 coach gun like double barrel with the uh pistol grip yeah interesting i'm just gonna use uh like old school i'm just gonna have a stick with a uh a torch just use a torch like a classic torch i I think that would just wave in the air as they come at you or just yeah they'll freak out and fly away uh smoke gun a smoking gun might be effective yeah do you feel like jeremy should just been rubbing his belly as he was walking up yes yeah what about those bug assaults would those be cool I oh, think that would no, take that too would, much. It would just make mad. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think I ordered one of those from Amazon like three months ago. I never got it. Now that I, I'm thinking. So this what is. What did you order? I missed it. Uh, a bug assault, but this is 22 plinkster shooting f-ing bees with a 22, like out of the air. Blink. Now he is using the uh, shot shells. Yeah. It's still pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Bonk. That is pretty awesome. You know what? Bees are cool. I, I'm I'm actually kind of disappointed. Those are carpenter bees, actually, so they're super oh. destructive. And yeah, then I, okay, then fine then. Jeremy, what's your loadout for uh, the murder hornets? Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Thirty-seven millimeter insert with all the twenty twos. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah. then you load that up with the twenty two rat shot. Yeah. And it's like a really big shotgun. Wait, what if you just loaded up a twelve gauge with those little tiny? Uh, pellets that they put in those 22 shells what if you loaded up an actual 12 gauge with like regular table salt what if you poured like 300 bird shot rounds into a can cannon what if you spread napalm all around your home what if we put a cut a can in half or just cut the top off again fill it with table salt and put it in a can cannon holy I have a and can now, can. now we have like the bug assault XXL. Dude, hold on, <laughs> making a note. What if remember remember when Krebs Custom was it Krebs? No, it wasn't Krebs. It was Tromix. Had like was the two life? uh the two uh ARs, the two AR uppers that were put together. And when you shot one, like the gas system went to the other <laughs> yes. upper and would cycle that one. Um what if you had a setup like that, but it was like four of them with can cannons with what Jeremy just said? So you had like a quad barrel can cannon that just shot a load of those that would be amazing what if what if the chinese released them to infect everyone with uh covid 20 what if the united states government released them to keep all these inside for once what if (laughs) what if this is another plague what if the seven the seven seals have been broken gentlemen what if we need to let aaron leave egypt let my people go, yeah. man. And then this will all stop. We want your people to go. <laughs> Talk and leave. Now, what if we've took... And by that, I mean melted face people. What if we cut a, <laughs> the top off of a can of Natter Days mm-hmm. and filled it with 22 rounds and shot that out of a can cannon? But then it'd be just, it just would be loose 22 case. rounds? Yeah. O- okay. I mean, but I you shoot, you shoot it at a steel target and... Are you talking about 22 <laughs> rounds or 22 bullets? 22 cartridges. Like cartridges. Oh, okay. But 22, whole, 22 But cartridges. you shoot it at a steel target so that a bunch of those are probably going to go off, right? I don't know. I want to do that. What if we took these Natty Lights, Natter Days, and then we chugged them? I mean, that's a great idea. Yeah. Aaron, talk for us for a second. What if you guys stop sticking your fingers in each other's hole? Nope, I guess not. All uh, right. It's so gross. It is. You shouldn't do that. Uh, oh, that was a little, I, I burped a little bit. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, natty days turned into naughty days. Hashtag WLS's life. Hashtag 2020 sucks. Hashtag 2020 is trying to kill us all. Hashtag it's Savage's fault. I do want to say. Yeah, do, do, what, do, what did Savage do to make God angry at us? Do, do you guys remember like 2019, like at the end of the year, right before 2020, or it was like, oh man, 2019 was killer 
uh, here's to a great 2020. 2019 kicked my ass. Here's to a great 2020. <laughs> Today I just burst out laughing thinking about all this right now. Like if you thought so it, 2019 was bad. If if it is the end days, does that make uh, Trump the, the Antichrist? Maybe. I mean, we voted for him to uh, burn down the system, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. Uh, let's see. Nick. What if what if murder hornets mate with regular hornets or mate with cats and they make flying murder hornet cats? What if murder hornets mate with a coronavirus and then they inject you with COVID-19? Because they're already airborne. It's already airborne, so it doesn't really benefit anybody. Yeah, but it, now yeah. it's now it's airborne and angry. I, I like cats. <laughs> it's swarming. Like cat, cats are kind of, but but I like them. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. partially because they're. That's strong and nice tradition. But flying cats. Like can you can you uh, your head? Can you imagine a worse animal than a cat that flies? No. Like, it oh would my poop god! And pee in the air, you know it would. Oh, just it to... would just out of spite, and they would get into everything. There's literally nothing you could keep that animal out of. It would be and, horrible. And and, and you, as you walk down the street, you hear, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going to happen next? Just <laughs> like solid vomit hits your shoulder, <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, our cat will run up and swipe our leg and then run away when she wants to play. So you're just like walking down, walking down the sidewalk, and a cat swoops down smacks you in the back of the head with its claws out and flies away you know yeah like, <laughs> that, was, that would actually but wouldn't no like drink would ever be safe no set your drink down cat just swoops in knocks that shit over <laughs> birds would go extinct within like two days <laughs> yep. if, not just birds uh, yeah all 19. flying creatures <laughs> it would just be cats uh, <laughs> there okay. used to be carrier pigeon flocks so big that they would blot out the sun it would be like that but feral flying cats oh that sounds terrible man just meow, meow. and everyone would just be dying like from cat scratch fever <laughs> uh okay nick t- next okay. question uh chris w asks <laughs> i have an mnp sport 2 and was wondering if i should put a free float rail a decent optic a tack light and a binary trigger on it or if i should just build my own ar so I can be a real tactical Timmy. Hold on a second. Fire Toad Forge just said in the chat, then we'd have to invent flying snakes to kill the cats. God, that's how we get dragons. <laughs> oh, God. Well, then we'd have to get flying monkeys to kill the flying snakes. <laughs> You're muted, Jeremy. Oh, Trogdor! <laughs> yeah. Burninator. <laughs> Trogdor the Burninator. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you gotta yes. make an S and then another S. Yeah. Jesus. One arm coming out of his back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the question is, should he just upgrade his MMP Sport 2? No. Because then you just build your own AR because then you have two guns. Yeah. You don't ever... Yeah, just selling a gun to get another gun. Like, no, no. He doesn't want to... a tug. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Tim fly, bud. Uh, <laughs> no, he's like asking if he should put, like, upgrade it. I say no. I say build a build another AR and build it how you want it. Yeah, leave the uh, M and P Sport to how it is, as a testament of where you started, <coughs> and then acquire parts over time until you can build the uh, the rifle that you want. Upgrade yeah. the f- out of that thing, and then build another better gun, and upgrade the f- out of it. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a great idea. Uh, Aaron, next one. Uh, is that one from JC? Yeah. 308 is becoming the 40 of rifle cartridges. Changed my mind. Sorry, 308 is becoming the 40 of rifle cartridges. Changed my mind. Uh, the 308 uh, is in a lot wider distribution in firearms than the uh, 40 caliber. 40 caliber in handguns usually were were not. I, I think they're they were far and fewer between than you'd find uh, 308 in rifles. You know what I'm saying? Does, uh, you does know, that make sense? Yeah, it, it makes sense. But I, I think actually, I mean, 40 was really widespread for a long time. FBI, most law enforcement agencies, they adopted 40 because of its ballistic advantage over the other cartridges of the day. But when we talk about like 40 and people talk about it in a disparaging way, it's because 40 has gone kind of the way of the dodo because the ballistics and projectiles of nine millimeter and other stuff uh, has advanced a lot. And there's really no benefit to 40 anymore. Um, ex- uh, but there are plenty of cons like the, the recoil impulse is different and snappier and nine less millimeters, ca- less better. capacity, less capacity. 
bigger cartridges. So I think that's kind of what it is. So if you apply that same kind of thing to the 308, maybe. It doesn't pan yeah. out. No, because uh, while while 40 was relatively uh, widespread, it's time of being uh, useful, I guess, or uh, relevant was pretty short. It was what, like 20 years? Uh, maybe the 40 yeah maybe yeah, I think 15 so. something like that uh i mean 308 has been an excellent cartridge since the 1950s so uh i i definitely think that that's a kind of a bad comparison um, so so all right do me a favor go buy a go buy a battle rifle an actual 30 caliber battle rifle and 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 have it chambered in you know either 65 or 308 and then go start buying ammo in bulk that is not for long range precision and tell me which caliber you want. I guarantee you I can find 308 a ton cheaper than I can 6.5 Creedmoor for a round. Well, I will say this for sure that 308 is definitely the 40 of rifle cartridges for the meme lords on the internet that, you know, that are that are out there. Because yeah, like, they talk about like, 40 and they talk about it but they don't even know what the they're talking about really. But you get like, you get a 9mm because it's capacity you know the 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 gap between nine and 40 has been filled by by bullet technology and nine mil is more prevalent nine mil is more in the you know, nine mil guns hold more ammo and the ammo is cheaper you cannot say that 308 is the 40 when it's more prevalent and cheaper than the six fives and that's uh, basically that's what nick was saying too right yeah yeah i don't uh, know I, I don't think 308's dead uh, yeah I'm, and it like thirty out six isn't isn't comparable to forty. Uh, well, three hundred eight will never die because they don't make belt fed machine guns in the military in six five. Not yet, yet, they don't. They're not gonna. Uh, I, there's been so well, of course, there's been some talk, but there's talk it's about never gonna happen. But there's talking about uh, about moving to a uh, what is it? It's a six point eight cartridge, right? Is it? Dude, they've been talking about that for twenty five years. Yeah, yeah. It's All never right. gonna happen. Uh, let's see, Jeremy, take the next one. Oh, I don't even know where we're at. Sean E. Shawnee. Uh, dear WLS, there may be legal reasons, but if you can buy an 80% frame and complete it at home for your own personal use and it is legal without a serial number being entered into a bound book, what do you think it would take for someone to make an 80% silencer kit for home builds and personal use? Is it because the NFA or does that only cover already made silencers? Thanks for the thoughts. Um, there are 80% silencers made. They're called oil trap cans. You can buy them on Amazon and Wish for like twenty dollars, but you still need a two hundred dollars stamp because it's an NFA item. Yeah, and you should. It's not a. It's not like a normal gun. Yeah, and then you got to be see the, the. There's a gray area here that makes me really nervous with constructive intent, right? Because you have to file your form. Is it a form one? For yeah, it'd be a yeah, form yeah, one. Form one. Yeah, so you have to file your form one, send in your two hundred dollar tax stamp, and wait. And Form 1s, I mean, they come back generally faster than Form 4s. If you do an E-Form 4 or E-Form 1, they're coming back in less than a month. Yeah. So pretty pretty quick. Uh, but here's the problem. Do you have to have it serialized for a Form 1? Yes. So you have to have it serialized. So you have to buy the thing, have it serialized, and then basically keep it away from anything that could possibly be considered to make it into an actual suppressor. Because well, no, con constructive true. intent is a thing, right? Like you don't. No, make... no, but you you've got the form in. You're waiting on the form. You have to have the parts to make it. Yeah. To do the paperwork, so you have constructive intent, but you have a form out. I guess that's true. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, yeah, no, that's not. Yeah, you have to have all the. It's got to be engraved with the serial number, and then you fill out your form one, send it out because. You need a serial number for the paperwork. It's got to be the one on the can, so you have to have it. You have to engrave a serial number on it. Pick whatever you want it. Could be UATF if you want it to be. Uh, there's plenty of that out there, actually. Right. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, you could totally do that. Uh, there are lots of place. lots of American companies too, uh, making pretty decent quality components uh, that are just not completed. The only bad part is is. Um, you can't any, – any suppressor parts are regulated as well. So, like, you used to be able to buy wipes just over the internet, but now they've changed the ruling to where any suppressor part is a suppressor. So, like, you can't just go get replacement willy-nilly. It kind of sucks. True that. Uh, let's see, Nick. Take the next one. What? Yeah, brah. Uh, 
Hashtag fancy pants. <coughs> Asks. Hold on. The Natter Day is... Okay. Um, Dude, the Natter Day really is not great. You and your fellow Boog Boys just went straight up Red Dawn on one of the three-letter agency's convoys and are now the proud new owners of a Striker assault vehicle. What song do you play through the loudspeakers when you take that Striker through the front gate at your local Fed Boy office in Minecraft? Hashtag I vote gas, gas, gas by Manuel. Okay. Hashtag WLS's family. So he's going to um, initial D that right in there just slide it sideways yeah i guess so i've never heard that song i would that do sound like a, a good song i would not want that song to be my song i'm yeah. just saying i would do uh tiptoe t- through the tulips by tiny, tiny tim. tim yeah really because i uh you remember kelly's heroes and you yes. play the music and shoot the shells full of really bright paint to yeah. confuse the enemy or whatever yeah. i just feel like if a if a striker rolled up playing this i'd be so confused that i wouldn't know what to do yeah, I don't. The, you know, dude, Tiny Tim is one of the creepiest looking dudes I've it, ever seen in my whole life. Strange, strange guy. Yeah, uh, uh, Die Dead Enough by Megadeth. I think I would do uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Israel Comic of Eva Ole. Okay, because I think uh, that's just a, that would. I mean, how, how cool would that be? Because Hawaiian shirts, this is yeah. So, so you're exactly. going for the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. You're like, wait, what's happening, dude? The Hawaiian shirts right here, and this is the guy. Yeah, but that guy needed like seven Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever disparage Israel Comic of Viva Ole. Uh, I remember one time I was like, "How do you say his name?" And then it took me like a couple minutes on the internet to figure it out. I, I would I would uh, play Africa. Okay. After they uh, after they cremated him and spread his ashes at sea, uh, the island that he lived on <laughs> actually rose. <laughs> did you know that actually? So Mark Rober did a video talking about uh, farts, and he found that farts actually make you weigh more. Yes. Oh, yeah. Way less. The, way less. Because the gas is lighter. Yeah. It's your, well, the, yeah. But when, when you fart, you weigh more. Yeah, when you right? fart, when you, you weigh when more. When you release the gas. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's totally a thing. But <laughs> I, I, I imagine that he gained like five pounds every time he farted. <laughs> or uh, I like Dustin Hubbard's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Sarah McLaughlin song they play with abused animals. <laughs> oh, arms of an angel. <laughs> or there's that uh, that great green text um, about that that we like to party song, where they're like uh, they're like pinned down under fire and some like British guys or something roll in and pop smoke and going to beat a bunch of people down while playing the song from their loudspeakers by the Venga boys. Yeah. All right. How's that go? Let's see. It's the one from the six flag commercials. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's awful. Yeah. I I would play the song by the flaming lips. I can't remember the name of it, but. You type in Flaming Lips song, and it'll be the one that pops up. She don't use jelly? No. Uh, there were green jello at that point. 24 hour song? They weren't no. green jello at that point. Do you realize? Yes. Oh, I, li- I actually like that song. I, yeah, I do too. That's why I would play it. I don't, know, like it. I don't know that I've ever heard it. Let's see. I like the music video. Yeah, that's good too. That you have the most. Wow. Actually, uh, what, everyone in the world will someday that you know will die. Mm-hmm. That's a good lyric. It is. Actually, here's here's the answer right here. This is the only answer. Uh, Jeremy, what would you pick? Uh, it's either between "Die Dead Enough" by Megadeth or the Mercenary song by Steve Earle. All right, I think Earl? this. I think this is the answer right here. Uh, here you go. <laughs> That's not what my car sounds like when I try to start it out. <laughs> After you run over a stop sign. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, would be a good dime one. bag. So, what'd you say? Die dead enough? Die dead enough. Yeah, yeah that's a good song. Uh, let's see. And then what was the other one you said? Uh, the Mercenary Song by Steve Earle. Uh, 
That's that Megadeth and then the Mercenary song by Steve Earle. Let's see. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> All right, there you he go. Talks about right. We'll fight for no country, but we'll die for good pay. <laughs> Are you trying to avoid a strike? Well, no, we've already got one. I guarantee it. Oh, okay. Uh, or, or what about the song um, where that fat guy sings? He like mouthed the song and he became really famous. Oh, my. Uh, he, my uh, <laughs> the Numa Numa song. Yeah. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Okay. Um, <gasps> the Trooper would be a good one. Yeah, that would be by by Maiden. Oh, yeah. no, you know what? I got it right here. Uh, the theme song to Dukes of Hazard. Oh, just good old, <laughs> just good old, good old boys. Good old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Waylon Jennings, just the good old boys. The ATF in Minecraft would be like, those new boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. In, mine, uh, in Minecraft, are they called the Mine TF? <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, for a second, I was like, I don't know what you're saying. Actually, this the the only the only real song, the only real answer is this one right here. <laughs> this is our boop song, guys. Like this is our boop song in Minecraft. Our boop song. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm your man. I love that song so much. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll do a, one last question. I mean, uh, Aaron. Uh, let's see. It would be hashtag fancy pants. No, by Walt G. Okay. Uh, if you were building Walt an Disney. apocalypse <laughs> AR five five six, would you would you be your barrel profile? What would be your barrel barrel profile choice? What would be your preferred barrel material and chamber bore coating? Thanks. We like shooting his life. Hashtag Aaron has no feet. Hashtag f- savage. Hashtag SSB. Hashtag Jeremy has hates. Wait, what? Jeremy, Jeremy hastes. Hastesh hashtags tag. Hashtag Nick is dead. Hashtag what happened to Eva. Hashtag too soon. Hashtag Jeremy likes us. Okay. So. You, add, you added that last one. Yeah. Hey, actually, <laughs> uh, you're kind of quiet too, by the way. Uh, it's just, I think it's Yeah, nasty. that's better. That's is, better. This, is, this, is this better? Yeah. Now you look like Zoidberg <laughs> devouring the mic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but don't make that motion. <laughs> okay, well, that's getting memed. Um, let's see. So barrel profile choice. Honestly, if you're in the apocalypse, like, wouldn't you want something that's kind of light and ready to rock and roll, ready to move? No, I, I would. Barrel. I, I kind of would want a pencil barrel. I'd want a bull barrel, but a short bull barrel, maybe a 12 inch mm. because I want something that obviously in that situation, you are not always going to be housed in the best of, uh, uh situations. Maybe you're going to be doing a lot of being outside. Uh, I'm thinking like the road, and you don't, you know your elements and stuff are going to succumb to your 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 materials. And I think it'd be better to have a thicker metal than a thinner metal, just for rust and 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 uh, wear longevity. Uh, yeah, I don't think that having a thicker barrel would affect rust at all. I th- the pitting and stuff that happens on the outside. Well, I mean, of your it would help from the outside, but like it's not going to make that much of a difference on. on- Rust longevity. I mean, if you wanted to talk about that, you get a stainless barrel, but then it's going to get shot out faster because it's a softer metal. Right. So, Uh-oh. honestly, so pencil barrel, I asked Pat the other day, actually, what he expected the lifetime to be because I have one in my machine gun. And he said, uh, he said 10,000 rounds. So I'm like, honestly, that uh, I'm going to go with a Faxon pencil barrel, honestly, because they're light. As if I can get 10,000 rounds out of it, and even then, they'll just be keyholing in. After ten thousand rounds, so what do I care? Um, yeah, I, I would. What keep, length would you go with? As, as like ten and a half or whatever the shortest that they offer that in. Ten and a half, seven, eight, something like that. I would have. I would have several. I mean, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a long range. I'm gonna have a longer range one. I'm gonna have a CQB one. I'm gonna have a standard. You know, fourteen and a half inch. But let's 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 play the scenario, Jeremy, that you have no vehicle. Everything's mission specific. You don't have a vehicle, you don't have a home base, and you're always on the go. You're a nomad at this point. Are you still going to have that many rifles to lug around on your back? Yeah, I'm going to have a. I'm going to have something. I'm going to have. I'm going to have at least. I'm going to have at least two, and that's probably going to be like a twenty inch and a ten and a half inch. Okay, that's fair. I, I accept that answer. Um, Nick, 
Uh, I, I would go with something M four ish profile. I think. Um, I would do hammer forged. Uh, with a a chrome lining. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Mid length gas system, probably a pinned gas block. Yeah, I'm totally and agree. Like fourteen and a half ish because I really like that barrel length. Yeah. So there you go. I think that's it. Submit questions, guys. Uh, we're we're getting short on them. Actually, we've been answering a ton of them. We like shooting dot com slash dear wls, and we will get them in the show. And uh, Aaron, how are you hanging in there, Zo- Blue Zoidberg? I'm good. I want to thank uh, Chris G for my my beard covering. Yeah, I have that in the office. I was using it the other day, actually. I wonder if I could wear this to the store and people would be like, oh, he's got a mask on. Totally. Without but question. If you lift it up, you're like, oh, just kidding. Well, no, but I've seen ladies wearing crochet masks. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, before we move on into the next, let's talk about manicure arms. And I, I want to talk about the uh, bullpup, the scorpion bullpup kit, which is shipping now. It's out there. It's in the wild. The goblin shark. Aaron, what did you what did you think about that? Just the like, tr- yeah, the true opinion. I liked it. Uh, it was it was well balanced and it, and it shot fine. I mean, it felt good. Yeah, I like I like the ergonomics of it too. It was it was it was uh, it was where I wanted everything to be. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I like the way it looks more than anything. It's just cool as hell. Uh, but they make all kinds of great stuff. You know, we love the transformer rail. It's all available manticorearms dot com and that they Tavor X ninety five uh, front for. Four ends, front rails, hand guards. They're actually in stock right now. I know people are waiting for those to come back in stock, and I'm pretty sure the Chinese uh, triangle stocks are, are back in as well. So go check them out. Manicorearms.com. Coupon code is WLS10. Saves you 10% all day, every day. And Not guns, not gear, just the gang. Hashtag not guns. Well, Aaron, it's time for not guns, but Nick has abandoned ship and Jeremy... As as well. All right, so we, well, let's just wait. In the meantime, let's talk about uh, my face. Okay, what's wrong with it? it I, what do you think of these things? I think they're hilarious. They're yeah. they're Cthulhu like they're knitted Cthulhu face masks. They are, and they're they're surprisingly comfortable. They're warm. And what's nice too is my face isn't um, my glasses aren't fogging up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Are you reviewing this face mask right now? No. Oh, hey, I'm getting a new review item, and I can't wait. What are you getting? Uh, some boots. Okay. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So you'll be like, boots and gloves, and boots and gloves, and boots and gloves. That's going to be my thing. Okay, cool. Well, what, what, gonna... what's your knock guns? We'll, we'll, if they get back, cool. If not, whatever. All right. Who was your first TV crush? Hmm. Okay. So I have two. Uh, Aaron Gray. She, I think her last name is Gray. Aaron Gray from uh, Buck Rogers, the TV show. Oh, okay. Are you going to Google her? Sure. Okay, so let's look at a picture of her. How do you spell it? E R I N. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know her. Yeah. Wilma gonna, was that her name? In the show, yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'll put it up on the screen. She didn't age well. No. I mean, she's, yeah, she did. She's fine. I mean, I, I, yeah. We didn't age well. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm over here talking, looking like a god toe fungus. And the other one would be Linda Carter. Wonder Woman, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She had pointy boobs. Who? Linda Carter? Yeah. <laughs> she aged well. <laughs> Nick's partner just whispered, what are you doing? <laughs> so this 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 is what you were attracted to yeah yeah that's fair <laughs> uh that's not bad at all actually yeah like i didn't know that she looked like that yeah i guess uh yeah yeah i know she was uh is that her now yeah so i was on a plane uh trip to shot show i think it was my first shot show and i was sitting next to this girl and she's talking to me the entire trip and she mentioned, you know, it's hard to compete with her, her boyfriend's mom. She's like, Wonder Woman. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, no, her mom, his mom is Linda Carter. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm like, really? I'm like, dude, I love Linda Carter. And, you know, just like, this is obviously years ago, but 
Uh, yeah, I would totally. Yeah, Lynn <laughs> Carter still do. Yep. Mine's actually really embarrassing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pull it up on the screen. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know why my dog is barking. Me either. Lucy. Make, make it stop. Boom. What's up on the screen, Aaron? Uh, Linda Carter. No. Uh, Aly- Alyssa Milano. Yeah, dude. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, back in the day. Now she's a dumb <laughs> but back in the day. Remember that vampire movie she was in? Which one? Just Google Linda Carter or uh, Alyssa Milano vampire movie. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't even want to Google her and give her the traffic. Um, and let's see who else. I think that might have been it. Oh, I know. Wait, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find so you can read it. This, yes. Oh, Tiffany. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, she looks horrible now. Looking yeah, back at her. Like she, she had a butter face. Yeah, like back in the day, not great. Yeah, but I she, thought apparently I thought it was. I think my eyes might have gotten better. I don't know. I mean, she was. I remember her in Playboy though. Wait, what? Yeah. What year? I don't. So there was there was two of them at the time. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. So that I think those were probably my two teenage crushes. Okay. Um. What about uh? So, so let's get because the guys aren't here. Let's guess theirs. Uh, let's see. I think Jeremy's would be Scott Bayo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was actually going to go with one of the Duke boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scott Bayo and Boss Hog. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's who you meant by Duke boys, right? Right. Yeah. And then because it, it has the word Duke in it, and Duke is it relevant to poop? Poop means. Bulls. I mean, Jeremy likes the Duke boys. Net and Nick is probably like when when Nick was a teenager, like who, like Beyonce. Man, was it? Uh, or TLC. Hey, Nick's partner. Who is Nick's first crush? Uh, like Hollywood oh, crush. Oh, I can't remember her name, but she was like kind of old and not that attractive. She was kind of old and not that attractive. Actually, yeah, that that, Short, that checks out. Short hair. Short hair. Okay, she's texting him. The mom, uh, the, mom, the mom from Webster. Someone said earlier. <laughs> the mom from Webster. <laughs> I don't. Oh God, no, she's awful. Who's it? Who is it? This one. <laughs> that, the that's, the, that's the mom from Webster. That's... Look at that hair. Like, what do you think? How much hairspray do you think it takes to to form that kind of a helmet? It's just pounding down the hall. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but it's weird. Uh, let's see, Salma Hayek. Yes, yes. That's actually one of mine too. Yeah. I don't know, and then yeah, so Jeremy. Also, probably uh, Bob Saget. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's because Saget rhymes with something. <laughs> yes. Maggot. <laughs> A bundle of sticks. Elvira. Remember Elvira? Yeah. I, I never thought she was hot, though. Well, I mean, she had that one key ass or two key assets. Yeah. Well, same mm-hmm. as Dolly Parton. Yeah, Dolly Parton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gunfather could work me nine to five. Cindy Crawford. I never really thought she was that hot. Really? Kathy Ireland. Yeah. She had that wholesome beauty. She was she's I. I don't Google know. Google Kelly Brook 32E Knox. Norks. Norks. <laughs> oh geez. All right, that'll do. <laughs> we're moving <laughs> we're moving on into the next segment. Really? You don't want to talk more about this? Nah. What once once Nick's partner finds out what it was, will he says he doesn't know. How, how do you not? You, know, you always he, remember your first. He partner. knows. We're just gonna say it was Mrs. Garrett, or or uh, or Betty okay. or, or uh, Betty White. <laughs> yeah, right, but this, but when uh, Nick's partner said that Betty White was pretty hot when she was young, but when Nick was a teenager, she was very old. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> who's the girl on fall guy i keep hearing that heather thomas uh i don't know but real quick let's talk about paul Rady. okay let's talk about him so right now they've got a couple things i've been actually slowly collecting parts that are compatible with the glock 43 because i want to build the paul Rady pf9ss 
So, so I've got the frame. Polymer AD, uh, frame right here. Yeah, so that's the PF320 PTEX and also very cool. So those are kind of the two that are pretty hot right now. I'm actually I've got the 320. It'll be in review soon, but the the one that is the subcompact, I'm pretty excited about actually. I have a barrel. I have a slide. I also have the frame, the trigger. Now I just need a parts kit for uh, for the frame and the slide, and that's all I all I need. And then sights, and I'll have it. But man, it, it's kind of tough to find that stuff so far. So I'm pretty stoked to actually have it. Uh, Jeremy. Yeah, sorry, had to had to had to. Okay, yeah, that's where Nick is too. Um, but real quick, so polymerad.com coupon code WLS is life saves you fifteen percent. Whether you want to replace the frame on your three twenty or something else that's out there like uh, Glock style pistols and things, go definitely check those out. Polymer80.com. So Jeremy, who was your first TV crush? Uh oh, Daisy Duke. I was close. I said Bo Duke. Yeah, I said <laughs> I said Boss Hawk. <laughs> I used to I used to watch Dukes of Hazard every day after school on the Nashville network. Nice. Does ever does anybody else remember TNN? Yes. Before the, the Nashville network. Oh, it's f-ing great, man. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, Nick's back. Hashtag Nick back. Yeah, it was like it was like three to four every every day, and I'd get home at like three twenty. So I'd always catch like the last forty minutes. So then I had to set the, I used to set the uh, VCR to record it, so I could wait till four and then watch it back. Yeah, uh, you got home at three twenty, ish. Yeah, that's cool. When I went to 320, school, three twenty blaze it. When I went to school, I got home at four twenty. Yeah. <laughs> well, till my senior year, and I, I, I went to school uh, at 6.30 in the morning, and I got out of school somewhere around 9.30 in the morning. Dang. Dang. Uh, so it was, so my one teacher, the one history teacher did what they called an early bird class. So it was like a class before homeroom. Nice. So, like, if you wanted to sign up for it, you could. But, you, you like, if you were late more than three times, like, they kicked you out of it. But anyways, um, but it was my senior year. So, like, I had all electives, basically. That's- and it was, like, study halls from second period, third period on. So, yeah, it's fucking. They're like, well, you can't leave till 1130 after the first. Lo- I'm like, fuck you. I just leave. <laughs> I do what I want. Uh, the fish <laughs> said, uh, Nick and Jeremy cycles are sinking. <laughs> <laughs> I took Metamucil earlier today, oh. and it was like, whew. <laughs> you had to run. It was, I feel like my pants fit better. Dude, this morning, uh, Aaron and I were talking on the phone, and uh, I was like, I got to go. I'll call you back. Or stay here. I don't care. I just got to go right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they yeah like, I don't care. If, I gotta, if I'm talking with you on the phone, and I, I will just go. I will not tell you until you hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, who is your first TV crush? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, well, he had he had PBS, so it's probably like Big Bird or your partner said that it was someone old and not very attractive. I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, she was old and not. We suggested Miss Garrett, Mrs. Miss Garrett, Garrett from the Facts of Life. Oh, I never. You watched take the, the facts good, you take the bad, but I know that song. It all in there, you have the Facts of Life. You know who I would though? Gadget. Yes. Gadget. Who? Gadget. Uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy said he'd f*** a squirrel. <laughs> Shoot the <a> mouse. <laughs> yeah, that's even worse. Okay. <laughs> I think you would literally kill it. All right. In, in the attempt. <laughs> let's, let's move into the news. What you got, Aaron? Uh, Henry. The Henry Axe. Have you guys seen this thing? No. It's a new lever action. It's like a, it's basically like a mare's leg. Uh, um, uh, What's mares like four ten. Yeah, well, I'm looking. The mares like four ten shotgun. Yeah. Okay. That's... Lever action. That's what I was looking for. Lever action. That's cool. It actually. Mm-hmm. Jeremy, uh, why yeah, don't you... you give me that in a twelve gauge and I'm in. Yeah, four ten's a little bit. And did you see it side loading? Uh, well, wait, is it side? Lo- oh yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. the tube and the side loading. I see it. I like how you have that up there, but not the big boy axe. The big boy axe. Don't you have that one in the shop? I have. Big I just boy. got one in for actually sale, but I have one personally. Nice, big boy X, big boy X. Oh, not X, big boy X. I had, 
That's like e. E. Big boy E. No, close. X. Close. You got it? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> That was so hard. Yeah, you've got one of these in stock. I just saw it. Yeah, and I yours really is suppressed, right? Well, mine. I have a forty-five Colt and a three fifty-seven. Like that are my. I got them on like a, um, like a dealer packet, like a, um, like a, you know, like a pro plan yeah. kind of thing. Um, and uh, so those aren't for sale. Those are mine. Um, but uh, I have the forty-five Colt and it's suppressed. And I honestly believe that the 45 Colt is the best option available because even out of a 16 inch carbine, it's still subsonic. Nice. Uh, next story. All right. So first of all, before, before I forget, I want to credit all these stories to uh, guns.com. Okay. That's where I, I get most of them. Very cool. Uh, beautiful black ice checking out the new Kimber rip uh, rapid. Oh, oh, Kimber next story. Okay. I don't <laughs> hey, think look, this is beautiful. Look, it, 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 no, it, 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 apparently, it comes with uh, all the accoutrements that you would want uh, on a premium firearm standard. I mean, so it's got texturing on the front strap. It's got a uh, some, flat some mainspring housing. It's got an extended beaver tail, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger, uh, ports, useless lightning ports in the slide. Like, But it's a Kimber. Cabot, Cabot, Cabot did it better. Next. It will, yeah, I mean, Cabot, the Cabot's Cabot. probably 10 times more. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's a lot more expensive with Cabot. Who but I, it's a better gun. I don't. Yeah. I don't really care for the aesthetics of this one. I, I don't either. It just something about it. Like I like. I guess I like the 1911s that have like rails and stuff. I don't know. I don't like this one, and I love 1911s. So it's. I, weird. I, I have a Kimber. I just don't remember where I put it. <laughs> one of your kids probably has it in his backpack. <laughs> he takes it to school with him every day. Show and tell. Because <laughs> we're homeschooling now. Well, All the other kids. <laughs> you got to stay yeah. strapped or get clapped up in Detroit. Uh, Maryland governor vetoes ban on private long gun transfers. So that's good. That's stu- That was a stupid rule to begin with. I didn't read the story. I just read the title. That's all I got for you. Uh, well, the title is Firearms Group Legally Challenges Canadian Gun Ban. Oh, well, you missed one then. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's on me. Hey, Aaron, I'm taking credit for my mistake. Oh, thank you. But you didn't say it. Oh, whatever. Anyhow. <laughs> Uh, dripped, dripped veto ink on bills that would criminalize person-to-person transfers of shotguns. Um, yeah, this is a good thing. So there was a proposal on May 7th along with a package of a half dozen other bills. Yeah, and this – basically universal background checks, which we have here in Colorado, which have done absolutely nothing but inconvenience law-abiding citizens. But you guys have no crime there now, right? No. We have more crime than ever. What? Yeah. Because so your weird. weed is legal there. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, wait, wait, wait till all these jobless people start getting hungry. I know, man. Think Are about it all the time. each other? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, next story. Firearms group legally challenges Canadian gun ban. Yeah, so this is the Canadian Coalition for Firearms Rights, or CCFR. Officially launched a charter challenge on the government's ban on military-style assault weapons. Uh, they rushed the ban with an order in council from the cabinet, not through legislation. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they're trying to get this going. Uh, they've retained, they've attained a lawyer who specializes in such challenges and acknowledges that it will be an uphill battle. Um, it's an interesting time for our Canadian uh, friends up there. It's they don't have a Second Amendment to stand on, so like I know there's nothing stopping them from just nope, guns are illegal now. Uh, Canada's public How about safety. This? How about this? I offer a trade with Canada. We'll take all your legal firearm owners down here, and we will trade you two anti-gun people up there. Which two? Which one are you thinking? Uh, just any two, like any two anti-gun persons. The okay, they they get okay. to go live in their uh, socialized medicine utopia, and we'll take right. their gun owners down here. Uh, yeah. Jer- Jeremy, that's a great idea. Yeah, I do. I'll, you, I'll sweeten the pot. We'll give you five anti-gun people for oh. every Canadian gun owner you send down here. I, and I, if you call within the next five minutes, we'll double the offer. <laughs> how about how about this? Okay, we'll take Windsor, Canada, and then no, all the, I want like, like Saskatchewan and Alberta. Just give me a minute here. Give me a minute. You, I'll, I'll sweeten the steel that you you won't be able to say no. Um, we'll take Windsor. You can put all your gun loving people in Windsor. So they're technically still kind of in the country that they love. And so we take Windsor and you get Detroit. Oh, there you go. That's not bad. Yeah. And you get all the socialist people there. 
because they're all basically going to be living the same style lifestyle that they are there that they would live in Canada. I I still I I still love to see like um like we'll just take like Saskatchewan. Like I would love for like Saskatchewan or or Alberta or both cuz it's a beautiful country up there. And the people that live in, in you know there aren't quite, you know, the hippies. But the problem is nobody can live there. Right. Like 12 people live in both <laughs> provinces. Uh we yeah. We, it's like the Wyoming of Canada. Was it Strange Brew, the movie where they're like went to war with Canada? Because they're like, <laughs> look at all the people in Canada are massing on the borders of the United States. Obviously, they're getting ready for an invasion. Dude, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Like, cool, look, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, it was a great movie. Uh, anyway. And they go in the big vats of beer and they drink it all. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Canada, it is unfortunate right now, unfortunately. I don't know. Uh, it's it's secede. Uh, secession. Secede. Uh, all, all gun owners just take square, carve out like a big chunk and just secede. So we'll give them two antis for one gunny. No, five. And if they call in the next five minutes, we'll double the offer. <laughs> all right. That'll do that. And that, that'll do for the show as I'm like well. The, I'm like the, uh, what's, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, Bill, uh, Billy, Billy, uh, Billy Squire. No, Billy the, 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 clean guy infomercial Billy Gene williams uh no billy blanks no oh billy that's Madison. the tybo guy never mind uh what's his name uh bill uh bill frady <laughs> no god shut up Baron. <laughs> bill gates <laughs> the clean guy oh oh okay so you're <laughs> you're Wait, talking about billionaire billy mays <laughs> billy mays jesus billy mays here yeah, Billy Mays here with an amazing offer. You just exploded all the equipment, Nick. Good. <laughs> Look how many people tried to say Billy Mays as fast as they could. That's that's <laughs> what he would have wanted. Mays. <laughs> Nobody knows how to spell Billy Mays. It's M A Z E. No, it's M A Y S. Specialist, powered by the air you breathe, activated by the water that you and I drink. It's mother. Remember when that one dude, the slap chop guy, got beat up by. a Remember when Billy Mays died of a cocaine overdose? Oh, well, I guess he what was if? oxy-cleaning the shit out of his nasal cavities. What if someone did a uh, Billy Mays parody where it was Billy Mays, but he was like an ear of corn? Get it? Like, uh, like and, Mays? Uh, like, uh, eh. Just a reminder, join a gun-related advocacy group such as Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gunners of America, and also check out the Sonoran Desert Institute, sdi.edu. Uh, is the place that you can find that for gunsmithing and all that other stuff. Um, lots of classes, courses, uh, degree programs, and everything else out there. SDI.edu, let them know that we sent you. And uh, the Suicide Prevention Line, number is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. Or you can text the number 741-741. And look, it's a kind of a crazy time. Like, if you need the help, get the help. Uh, if you don't need the help, don't get the help. But um, there, there are people out there. And honestly, like, it doesn't get any less... Uh, scary than a text. So text seven four one seven four one if you just need someone to talk to, someone to help you kind of get through uh, the pandemic, the apocalypse, the worst apocalypse ever. By the way, uh, they're out there. We're here live every week on Mondays and Wednesdays on demand every single day. Go to we like shooting dot com slash show to subscribe. Or if you don't want to do that, you can go to wlsshow dot com, or you can just find us in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iTunes, TuneUp, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and anywhere else that the best gun podcasts are available. And uh, as we always say, guys, thanks for listening. Get some medical training. And don't drink the water in Mexico. Billy Mays here. (laughs) Wait, I I thought there was two of you. I was so confused. Oh, Dragon Arcadia said, I believe Billy died from a brain aneurysm. The overdose was disproved. No, that's a lie. Fake news. Repeated cocaine use probably caused an aneurysm. I mean, the cocaine is way cooler. Yeah, I mean, Billy Mays would want us to tell the story that he died from cocaine overdose, right? It was the Sham Wow guy that got beat up by his Yeah, that's what I said. Or the Slap Chop. Didn't he do both? Slap Chop. Yeah, it's the real skinny guy with the tan. His name's Vince. I don't know what his name is. Oh, yeah. And he looks (laughs) like a Beavis and Butthead character. He does. All right, so for the for the title, no, Billy Mays had an amazing beard. My yeah. beard doesn't like no that. Yeah, no, my beard is awful, and Billy Mays was awesome. Oh, I had an, I had an amazing beard. Title for the show: Bug Assault XXL, Aaron's Voodoo Doll, Airborne and Angry. What if or two antis, one gunny? Hmm. The music ended. 
Mm. The music ended. Oh, I guess two, y'all two have to wait. One cup. I guess y'all have to wait till until you download it. Canadian trade off. <laughs> Canadian bacon. That was another movie. John Candy. Did you think that show was worth a dollar? Help the cast by visiting lovewls.com.